Okay, so I thought we should give uh, the closet, uh, water closet, a bit of a look. Um, the reason being is because uh, I thought that uh, to move on forward with the next part of modeling, probably it's good to address some of these little uh, fixtures early on and um, good to have a good streamline workflow between uh, Blender and FreeCAD and also since we're doing uh, sort of precision modeling uh, starting to talk about bathroom it's important that we try to uh, you know maintain this kind of relationships that uh, some of these um, uh, fixtures have uh, according to uh, code requirements and, and uh, specifications in the book so the range of fixture dimension given below is primarily uh, is preliminary pl planning. It's, it's for prelimin preliminary planning purposes only. Um, so here we have a few uh, dimensions. Uh, we have the width and we have a range of the width here and depth and height. So we're not going to do all of these, but we're just going to do a few of them. The, the most essential ones, probably the water closet and the lavatory. Uh, probably uh, this one as well a bathtub and a shower probably so we, we're gonna look at the most essential ones and the straightforward ones that we can achieve but let's get started with the water closet so often time when I have something like this draw I like to come around online and start to look at uh, some of the you know decent uh, modern designs that are out there and I look for these kinds of um, of uh, you know documents where I have uh, you know a few bunch of consistent dimensions that can allow me to to design uh, the general sizes you know so I want something like this you see uh, a few varieties of, of this kind of stuff so uh, let's get started um, by the way if you're ever interested because what we're trying to do here is uh, we're trying to get some basic shapes these are a few of them that I've already tested in FreeCAD so we're trying to get a few of these uh, shapes here uh, avoiding this kind of triangular stuff but something that reads pretty well so these are a few ones that I was doing for the tutorial earlier and uh, testing a few of these and you can see that they come out pretty decently uh, not too bad um, so we want something simple as that but if you ever wanted to model uh, a few um, something pretty good you know this is pretty good reference you, you know tutorial field can show you how to model a lot of these fixtures uh, where you know you sort of have um, you want to create a stunning website. come on um, where you sort of have a you know the full uh, modeling ability of uh, of of free CAD to achieve the curvature the right uh, the right um, angles the right everything so uh, this is a pretty good area to uh, to you know to look at tutorials like that you can see you know it's a pretty volumetric now the reason why I don't do this uh, is because you know uh, you can still see a bunch of lines around it and I'm not interested in that I'm interested in some very basic readings uh, this is why uh, the challenge is to get uh, you know the model in blender uh, in a very basic way that you can use in FreeCAD as well uh, and vice versa so uh, let me stop chatting here and get started so let me make sure that my 3d cursor is on and my start display is on as well location 3d cursor is at zero so I'm gonna add a new plane here okay so that's my plane and um, I'm gonna come here okay so I'm gonna look at the overall dimension so here I have 665 uh, millimeters on the on the Y for example and I have uh, what oh, 320 on the X so 665 and 320 so here I'm gonna come here uh, on the on the Y 665 millimeters like this and on the X I have 320 millimeters 320 mm like this so there you go and top height what are we talking about seven uh 780 millimeters 
like this so I'm gonna ex edit tab that extrude at 720 720 mm like this enter like that okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to duplicate this duplicate like that and I'm going to look at this again and so here I'm at 400 millimeters tall okay like this oops so I extrude that and I bring this down and I move it up by 400 like this 400 millimeters like that enter okay and then I select this main shape again and I duplicate this and I want to check what this is again uh, this is 160 millimeters for this width here 160 millimeters so I'm going to edit that select this face and snap it towards the end and bring it by 160 millimeters so negative 160 millimeters enter okay and bring the base to the top like this okay it's looking good so far so what else do we have that we need uh, da -da -da. those are the main dimensions overall um, so here we have 120 but this is not really important at this point we have the basic shape already so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hide this select this select that top uh, shift duplicate that top press P and then select that face give it a solidify modifier a very useful and famous solidify modifier give it a thickness of two or three uh, let's say three centimeters object apply scale looking good select this one and bring it down like this so uh, I probably want to scale this base a little bit like this actually let me apply scale object apply scale like this and now scale it down like this okay now select this base and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a loop here snap this loop here put another loop here bring that loop here and move that by about the spacing of yeah negative 10 centimeter works okay or maybe five whatever doesn't matter uh, uh, too much um, so I'm probably wanting to squeeze this rear end a little bit so I'm going to add a loop here as you can see all the other previous models are slightly different because each time I'm trying a new way of doing something so that I can see which one is not going to cause me those vertices issues so what I'm gonna do is select these bottom faces and scale them on the X like this and here I know I'm gonna have a problem because of this face you can see it gives me this imaginary triangle so this is a very bad idea already I know that um, unless I have an idea on how to fix that which maybe I do which is probably select all of this rear end and scale it on the X like this I don't make a very interesting uh, toilet now okay probably better um, okay now I want to get uh, these two edge loops like this okay and scale that on the X again like this now I want to select these faces these edges or vertices and just bring them back slightly like this so I have this nice uh, you know recess angle looks good so far 
I probably think I need another edge loop here. Bring this slightly up like this. And then bring another one down here. Now this is going to be very tricky because on the first one, I obtained this result where I have this edge and I'm trying to prevent that from happening. So I have to really think a little bit diligently here. Um, so what do I do? So what I'm going to do is probably select this. Like this. Okay. And first, and probably you as well. You might help as well as you. Okay. Now scale that on the X. S. Scale like this. I'm wondering, oops, and I have exactly what I don't want, this kind of stuff here. This kind of triangle here, it's not good. Okay, um, what do I do? And I have one here at the back as well, so I'm going to undo that. very tricky indeed okay well S shift Z what do I have same result well okay s s shift z okay i think i'm going to fix this face because it's not gonna work like this so delete this face and what I'm gonna do is select these edges and faces and faces unfortunately it looks like we will have to deal with one triangular edge there select this face and edge 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 face edge 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 face hopefully that's the only one I don't seem to see any other place okay let me keep on moving um, I want to just give this a little extra lip uh, so extrude that by let's say five millimeters like this do the same thing here extrude that by negative five millimeters and extrude this by negative five as well negative five millimeters okay now this face here uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this face da 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 uh, shift duplicate YP and then select this edge and then just bring it back slightly like this maybe negative three millimeters three centimeters okay and so now I'm going to object apply scale and 
object transform origin to geometry like this and then select the whole thing select all the faces and press I to insert uh, insert about two centimeter like this okay now select the edge and delete the vertices like this so now all you have is that so now select this and select that Control l modifiers you apply the same modifier select that and flip the direction and there you go so let us test our toilet now our water closet select that file export obg uh, z up y forward selection only and scale to 1000 water closet obg export bring free cat let's bring our water closet in here obg okay all right let's look at our results select that architecture and split the mesh nice select that architecture and mesh to shape okay so we still could not avoid one or two of those and miraculously we have a, an entire face here that's interesting so was there a possibility in avoiding this scenario interesting question <clears throat> but overall it's not so bad you know okay so that works so let me delete this and so at this point we can see we have a working water closet um, let me change the color a little bit okay and let me drop that into the section select that and select that add here how are we doing not so bad so uh, now that we have this it's easy to now uh, position our water closet anywhere so this is what I wanted to show you on this one on the next one we're probably gonna do the other fixtures it's gonna be much faster um, so I guess I'll see you into the next videos